long monotonous routes, attention and the ability to react suffer. Due to fatigue, some people come closer to the edge of the lane than they would like, unintentionally. An avoidable danger. Daimler's development department has always worked to counteract this in accordance with the goal of accident-free driving. Also for commercial vehicles in both freight and passenger transport. According to the principle, three eyes see more than two. A camera behind the windscreen supports the driver. It senses the edges of the lane and constantly sends these images to the powerful onboard computer. This forms the technical basis of the assistant system. It is called the Intelligent Lane Assistant, available upon request, for example, for the Actros. How does the driver experience the system? Jörg Zern, head of Mercedes truck development, demonstrates. The onboard computer analyzes the camera image of the lane edges. It recognizes changes in the distance between the vehicle and the lane marking. If the vehicle threatens to leave the lane without blinking, then the system triggers an alarm. The car radio speakers emit a loud, rumble-strip clatter. This causes the driver to compensate intuitively. However, Jörg Zern sees even more development potential in the lane assistant. Firstly, the lane assistant can be equipped with additional systems for advanced fatigue recognition, namely a sleep warning. And secondly, the feedback which the lane assistant currently provides is acoustic. We could reinforce these acoustic warning signals either through steering or braking intervention. Let me say it this way, allowing the driver to perceive the signal even more clearly. The successor system, the Lane Departure Avoidance, is already in development. The system should provide feedback as soon as the truck begins to approach the lane marking. The driver then feels a compensation impulse in the steering wheel, a clear preliminary tension which causes him to compensate before the acoustic warning signal sounds. When we consider this, then we are thinking of providing a brief haptic input in addition to the acoustic signal, so that the driver realizes that he has to react. So this feedback tension has to be low enough that the driver still retains control over the vehicle, but enough that he feels a brief impulse in his hands and thinks, aha, I need to react now. Lane departure avoidance not only intervenes via the steering, the developers also want to integrate a braking intervention. They network the lane assistance systems and the intelligent stability control. This functions in a manner similar to the electronic stability program for passenger vehicles and ensures that the vehicle remains in the lane. The system should cause drivers to steer their trucks back into the middle of the lane via a targeted braking impulse on one of the wheels, not compulsively, but rather intuitively. It is almost like in ball sports. The earlier I'm aware, the greater my ability to react. This is ultimately what these systems aim to achieve triggering a reaction as early as possible. That is why I repeatedly emphasize intuition, because fast reactions are generally intuitive. And this is what the systems and their enhancements aim to achieve, an even earlier and more intuitive reaction so that the driver then has enough time to actually compensate. The Intelligent Lane Assistant is already available in the Safety Pack Classic, supplemented by the Intelligent Distance Control, for example. Equipping every truck with both systems would prevent two-thirds of all serious accidents. This has been confirmed by studies performed by both insurance companies and the German Aerospace Center, DLR.